So in this session, what we want to do is explore the swing with different length golf clubs. So different. So we're going to use like a pitching wedge, a seven iron, and maybe a hybrid. So imagine now if I suddenly started to take it out of here, that would feel hopefully horrible. Yeah. Yeah, if I whipped it too quickly in here, that might feel a bit yeah. more around the body. So we're just working on good habits all the time, all the way through. Good to see you again. Back again. Just keep going. Just keep doing it. So, how do you feel about your swing so far? About the progress you've made? Yeah, a lot of progress is what I was probably going to say. Feels like I've developed it a lot more, a lot, lot more. Uh, it's got actual feedback and yeah. it's been pieced together properly. So yeah. now I would say you've got a golf swing rather than somebody trying to hit the golf ball. Yeah. And then a lot of people say to me, oh, well, do you need different swings for different clubs? So in this session, what we want to do is explore the swing with different length golf clubs. So different. So we're going to use like a pitching wedge, a seven iron, and maybe a hybrid, and just show you how we blend it all together so mm -hmm. that it feels nice. So as a starter, this is a pitching wedge. Yeah. If you want to hit a shot for me, let's Yeah, uh, what have you set up for me here? So we're actually on a virtual range now. Okay. Um, so this is, don't worry about in terms of targets and things like that. So we're just trying to see if we can get the swing to feel okay. good. We'll, we'll pay attention to target, but I just want to make sure that the swing is working well with all these different clubs. So just using a wedge to start with. Okay. Okay. So width of stance doesn't change from how you've been doing it. Golf ball stays pretty much in the middle for you. So club feels physically shorter than, uh, yep. than the other ones, but let's, let's hit a few, just get you warmed up. Oh, okay. So any idea why that might have gone might off to the right? Like yeah, it might have gone, slipped back into that, that yeah. habit. Uh, and, you know, like I said uh, in the last time, my job is to just make sure that, that we don't creep into yep. bad habits. So that's, that would be what I would call your default. And we're just trying to keep it okay. more online here. And then the club works up that way rather than too far around. But don't worry, we, you know, we're going to hit a few more yet. Practice makes perfect. Well, can I just hold to that? That's sure. what everybody says. Practice makes permanent. Oh, okay. So if we do it wrong, we get really good at it. So don't fall into the habit or, or that uh, default of practice makes perfect. Not necessarily. Practice makes permanent. Not that I'm picky. No. <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> a golden nugget, to be honest. It is, yeah. It's absolutely so important. Yeah. A lot of people practice the fault and then they get too good at it. There you go. Well done. Brilliant. That was a practice swing. <laughs> How did that feel? That felt good. It sounded like we were doing it before as well. It's just like a slap almost. Yeah. Uh, that felt good. Um, I did have to like just gather my thoughts properly to make sure that I wasn't going to do it like in pieces. Yeah, I had to get the full movement, but that so, was good. But there's never anything wrong. If you just make your setup, there's nothing wrong with rehearsing the movements. Mm-hmm. Because I love the saying, there's no consequence to a bad practice swing. Yeah. There is only a consequence when we put the ball in the way. So you can't, let's, yeah. you know, let's rehearse the good things as well as possible. Yeah. So if you keep hold again. So imagine now if I suddenly started to take it out of here, that would feel hopefully horrible. Yeah. Yeah. If I whipped it too quickly in here, that might feel a bit yeah. more around the body. So we're just working on good habits all the time, all the way through. Brilliant. The reason I like to hold the golf club is I can really get a sensation of, of if there's any tension creeping in somewhere. So uh, a lot of people, a lot of pros, if they're not holding the golf club when you're moving it, sometimes you don't get that feedback, that initial yeah. feedback. So for you, it might feel relaxed. I can go, yeah, hang on a minute, that's still a it's bit not, tense somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So here's a good point so about practice swings because I think because I've not been sort of like the way through yeah you see people doing practice swings you're like come on mate come on. we didn't four swing practice swings for yeah but knowing what how to actually do the practice swing properly makes a difference doesn't it will make the, yeah will make a big difference it'll make me look at it differently as well Great. i'm not just rolling up to it and going brilliant that's how i'm gonna hit it it's yeah and, and ideally thought. those practice swings should be done elsewhere other than the golf course yeah because on the golf course you want to play golf yeah not play golf swings yeah true so, you want to hit so balls. yeah anything anything you can do off course that makes you get the club moving correctly has got to be a good thing to do so let's do a couple more with a wedge and then we'll swap it for a different club 
Great, so you look at ease now, great. Oh, I did it again. Okay, so sometimes if we, uh, if you miss the ball, what happens in the backswing, the weight goes a little bit what we call lateral again, but then the weight stays here when you're coming to hit it, and then you have what I call a disguised follow through. Then it suddenly goes through. Yeah. But that's why I want to make sure that the body's working really well today so okay. that we don't ever have that issue. But it's an opportunity to learn again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am giving you things to fix, aren't I? <laughs> that's good. Well, you know, they can happen. Let's get rid of them. Okay. Yeah, well, the so shoulders still look a bit tight, but we're... we're yeah, I felt that. Like my, I think I was so nervous about missing it. I was putting too much weight. <laughs> so, yeah. Just going to swap the uh, pitching wedge now for a seven iron. Trying to get away from is this rolling onto your side. Yeah, yeah. Foot. So it's, ideally, it's just a bit more of a turn. Now you're talking. Now I'm getting my own way. Wow, we're really starting to polish this this swing now rather PGA than just 11. hitting the ball. Yeah, brilliant.